As we orbit the Sun, our planet Earth is surrounded by a vast and dangerous asteroid belt. These massive rocks, some as large as mountains, hurtle through space at breakneck speeds, threatening our very existence. Astronomers estimate that there are over 22,000 asteroids near Earth, with countless more still undiscovered. At any moment, one of these celestial objects could collide with our planet, unleashing catastrophic consequences. The only thing standing between us and certain doom is the vigilance of astronomers and the technology of our space agencies. It is a race against time, as we strive to track and deflect these asteroids before it's too late. In this video, we will explore asteroids, what exactly are they? Where do they come from? How many are near our planet? Can, or have, asteroids hit our planet? And what are we doing about the risk of asteroids hitting our planet and destroying all life? What is an asteroid? Asteroids are small, rocky objects that orbit the sun. They are leftover building blocks from the formation of the solar system about 4.6 billion years ago. There are many thousands of known asteroids, ranging in size from several kilometers in diameter to mere meters. Some asteroids even have their own moons. Asteroids are divided into three main categories. C-type, carbonaceous, S-type, silicious, and M-type, metallic. C-type asteroids are the most common and are made up of rock and clay. While S-type asteroids contain silicate minerals and nickel iron. M-type asteroids are composed of mostly iron and nickel. Despite their relatively small size, Asteroids can have significant impacts on the solar system. Some contain water and organic compounds, making them of interest to scientists searching for evidence of life elsewhere in the universe. Some, like the type just discussed, contain similar materials to those found on Earth. C-type asteroids, for instance, have materials that are also found on Earth. S-type ones also contain minerals similar to those found on Earth's crust, while M-type asteroids are primarily made up of iron and nickel, similar to our Earth's core. But others have completely different compositions and contain unique minerals and compounds not commonly found on Earth, including carbon-rich organic compounds and hydrated minerals. This diversity in compositions highlights the differences in the formation and evolution of the inner and outer planets in the solar system. Where do they come from? During the early stages of the solar system's formation, a cloud of gas and dust began to collapse under its own gravity, eventually forming the Sun and the planets. The leftover material from this process eventually formed into asteroids and other small bodies. Most asteroids are located in the asteroid belt, a region between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter where the majority of the leftover material from the solar system's formation is concentrated. Despite their proximity to one another, those in the belt rarely collide due to their slow speeds and wide orbits. The gravitational pull of Jupiter prevented these objects from coalescing into a planet, leaving them as small, individual bodies. However, not all asteroids are located in the asteroid belt. Some have orbits that bring them close to the Sun, while others have highly elliptical orbits that take them far from the Sun. These objects are believed to have been perturbed from their original positions in the asteroid belt by collisions or gravitational interactions with other bodies. In addition to the asteroid belt, there are also several other populations of asteroids in the solar system, including near-Earth asteroids, or NEAs, Trojans, asteroids that share Jupiter's orbit, and centaurs, small bodies in unstable orbits between Jupiter and Neptune. How many are near Earth? Asteroids that are near our planet are known as near-Earth asteroids, NEAs. These are asteroids whose orbits bring them within 1.3 astronomical units, AU, of Earth's orbit. There are over 22,000 known NEAs, with diameters ranging from a few meters to several kilometers. NEAs pose a potential threat to our planet as they can collide with Earth and cause significant damage. The impact of a large NEA would have a catastrophic effect, 
potentially causing widespread destruction and even mass extinction. For this reason, scientists closely monitor NEAs and their orbits to assess their potential risk to Earth. Despite the potential danger, NEAs also have scientific and commercial value. Some NEAs contain water and organic compounds, making them of interest to scientists searching for evidence of life elsewhere in the universe. To detect NEAs, NASA and other international organizations use ground-based telescopes and space-based observatories, such as the Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer WISE, and the NEOWISE missions. These instruments observe the asteroids and track their orbits, allowing scientists to predict their future path and assess their potential risk to Earth. Can and have asteroids hit our Earth? Asteroids can and have hit Earth. Impacts from these objects have caused significant damage and even mass extinctions in the past. There is evidence of past impacts all over the Earth, including large craters, such as the Chicxulub Crater in Mexico. Additionally, there are smaller impact craters, such as Meteor Crater in Arizona, that are visible on the Earth's surface. While the likelihood of a large asteroid impact is relatively low, scientists continue to search for near-Earth asteroids NEAs, and track their orbits to assess the potential threat to our planet. In the event of a potential impact, scientists and international organizations work together to plan mitigation strategies to minimize the damage and protect the Earth and its inhabitants. What exactly can we do to save Earth from future asteroids hitting the planet? To prevent potential collisions with Earth, scientists study asteroids and their orbits. This could involve redirecting the asteroid's trajectory through a technique called a gravity tractor, or even sending a spacecraft to the asteroid to deflect it. This includes developing impact simulations, developing new propulsion systems, and testing possible deflection techniques. In the fall of 2022, NASA actually put these simulations into action. On September 26, 2022, NASA celebrated the destruction of a spacecraft as part of the final stage of the double asteroid redirection test, DART. The mission involved crashing the spacecraft into the asteroid Dimorphos to determine if such an impact could deflect a stellar object heading towards Earth. NASA has declared the mission an overwhelming success after observing a significant change in Dimorphos' orbit. The goal was to alter Dimorphos' nearly 12-hour orbital period around Didymos by at least 73 seconds, which was exceeded by a 32-minute change. The DART mission provides valuable data about asteroid properties and the effectiveness of kinetic impactors as a planetary defense technology. NASA is also working to educate the public about the importance of asteroid detection and the potential dangers posed by impacts. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like our videos.